with Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. Loses by decision to Joseph Parker. And what many people did not expect to happen. Everybody besides me, of course. <laughs> you go back and check out my prediction. And I said that I was going against the green. And I said, I'm going with Joseph Parker by decision. And why did I pick Joseph Parker by decision? It's because Deontay Wilder has not been active in two years. He hasn't. He had one fight in two years against Robert Hladius, which he, he knocked him out in the first round. Didn't get no real ring time, man. I mean, how you, you know, he fought somebody that's been active, busy, Joseph Parker. And I'm already hearing some channels, like a lot of the Wilder fans, they, the Wilder, the Wilder fan channels, listen, they supposed to rock with their guy, that's their guy. I, I, I honestly respect stuff like that when you don't. You don't disrespect and shit on your fighter because he lose or something like that. So you gotta, I respect that. The problem I got with some of the channels is they're making excuses. They're saying Wilder was too inactive. He fought somebody that was too active. I'm like yo, okay, how the fuck is that Joseph Parker's fault? Or oh, I, I think Wilder was the better, uh, still a better fighter than Joseph Parker. No, he's not. No, he's not. If you a better fighter, you a better fighter regardless, bro. He's not a better fighter than Joseph Parker. And I told people this. Um, listen, when you when you off when you laid off of work for a little bit, you supposed to stay sharp. Like I said, let's say you let's say you you're working slow and you were like a, a person that does lawn care. You get your ass out there in your yard and get on your lawnmower and stay busy. You know what I'm saying? Staying in the gym. You know, the same with boxers, stay in the gym. They gonna blame PBC for, for Wilder being inactive and all like that's not why he lost, bro. I mean, you could argue the fact that he, you know, the inactivity did play a part in why he performed that way. But even if he wasn't, even if he was active, he still it wouldn't look much different if, if you ask me. Wilder still had that same jittery look, his them shaky legs. It, it, he looked like that before, even when he was active. The same thing. Even when he was active, he looked like that. From the beginning to the end, Wilder, shit, man. I don't even think he won a round in that fight, man. And he almost got knocked out. What round was that that he got touched up in? I think it was like the, um, was it the sixth round? Fifth, sixth round? He got touched up. He got touched up in that round. He took, he got wobbled. He got hurt. And I had said in my prediction is there, you know, is it possible that Deontay Wilder's punch resistance is low because of the, the Fury fight? You know, the Fury fight took a lot out of Deontay Wilder, man. And it showed he's not the same, man. I think he may be a shot fighter. Now, uh, other people say, well, look, you know, let's see the next fight. Let's say he looks in the next fight. And he was supposed to... Um, he said at the post fight, he said, you know, he's, he's this ain't the end for him. He's coming back. So he's not retiring. Look like he still want to box. Um, from the beginning, man, like he was getting out. He was getting sparked. He was getting, he was pressed. He was getting pressed the whole fight. He never really pressed the action. He never was really the aggressor. Joseph Parker was walking him down and looked like in certain spots in that fight. He was cracking him with overhand rights. I think Wilder hit him a few times, not even exactly flush, but he hit him. He was dipping under Wilder's right hand. You know what I mean? So, come on, man. You know, nah, man. He, he looked gun shy, like he didn't want to let his hands go in the fight, like he was scared to get hit at, at certain points in the fight. Nah, it, no. He, he always had that sturdy, that unsturdy look to him, Deontay Wilder, like his... His legs just never looked right, man. You know, so all of that plays a factor, man. And this fight card was supposed to be you know, the Day of Reckoning, which was an awesome fight card. A lot of knockouts on this fight card, stuff like that. Um, but you see Joshua was on the same card. So, you know, that was giving us an indicator that we possibly was going to see Wilder and Joshua next in March, right? 
Oh, I'm hearing that they signed it. I heard this a couple of days ago that they already that fight is already ready to go. But then the channels that support Wilder said, "Yo, man, if AJ fight Wilder now, man, I, that's that's he shouldn't even fight Wilder right now, man. If he try to take his fight now, man, that's disgusting. Man. I'm like, oh, get the fuck out of here, bro. Come on, man, don't do that shit, bro. If it was the other way around." And AJ looked horrible, and Wilder sparked fucking Joseph Parker. Nobody will be saying that, you know. Come on, man. Um, but to be real though, if if Joshua was in that fight instead of Joseph Parker tonight, he probably would have slept Wilder. He would have knocked him out cold, I think. But that's only if AJ fought like Joseph Parker fought. If AJ fought Timmy. I don't think that would have happened. I don't, I don't think he would have knocked out Wilder. More than likely, Wilder probably would have knocked out AJ. That's the difference between AJ and Joseph Parker. Parker, I don't, I'm not saying AJ's a sucker, but it looked like Wilder. I mean, uh, Parker is more of a dog, man. The AJ is. That's just what it is. So that's that that aggressiveness. Um, you wouldn't have probably seen that from Anthony Joshua. You know what I mean? If Joshua would have got Wilder hurt, though, I think he would have finished him better than Parker because Joseph got because uh, Anthony Joshua got more punching power, so he probably would have got Wilder out of there if that was the same. If the way he hurt, Park, the way Parker hurt Wilder, if that was AJ in there, he, he would have he would have knocked out Deontay Wilder. So maybe it was a blessing that that didn't happen, man. Maybe you know, even though Wilder lost, he didn't get knocked out you know, or. You know, so maybe that was a, a blessing, man, that he didn't do that. You know, and maybe this knocked a little bit of rust off of him. And then, but the the issue is this, man. If 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 the Wilder and Joshua fight is next, if that's in March, we in December, we about to be into January, man. How the hell is AJ going? Is Wilder going to get another fight in? And you saw how Joshua looked tonight, so. This is bad, man. If 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 that fight is already ready to go, like I said, if if, if Joshua saw how Wilder looked, and then Joshua feel more confident, I got AJ winning that fight too, and and it possibly about stoppage, yo. Real shit. But shout out to the bronze bomber. He, he still hung, he hung in there, did his thing, gave it his all. Can't take that nothing away from Deontay Wilder, but. Yo, man, people been saying, man, him leaving Mark Brilliant was a bad idea. And I told people, man, I told everybody, yo, Brilliant was the best thing for Wilder, bro. Really, Brilliant was the best. He, he looked much better with Brilliant, man. I don't know what the hell Malik Scott doing, but he looked much, much better with, with, with uh, Mark Brilliant, man. And him letting Brilliant go, listening to these fucking idiot channels and, and putting shit in his head. And, and, and he really thought Breland fucking spiked his water, bro. That, that, that's the ultimate. You, you, and then you let him go. You hurt that man, man. He, he was trying to, you know, come on, bro. So that's the, that's the, that's the Breland karma coming back to Wilder, bro. The Breland karma is in full effect right now, man. So more Wilder fights is probably going to get worse for him from here on, bro. You might even see him look worse against lower-ranked fighters, man. If you see that, man, you know for a fact he's done. A lot of people already think he's done. Me personally, I need to see him with another fight first, man. At least, at least one more, a decent opponent. You know, see how see how he does against somebody like uh, um. Shit, put him in there with Otto Valine. <laughs> he might knock him out though. He might knock out Valine. Put him in there with like a. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. Daniel Dubois, man. Put him in there with Dubois or like an F.A. Jogba or somebody like that. I just want to see how he would look against them. You know, but... Yo, the Wilder that I seen tonight, man. I don't I don't think he beats F.A. Jogba at all, bro. And Frank Sanchez. Oh, I think a lot of these dudes right now... I think Deontay Wilder... I'm going to say it, man. He might be fooled, bro. For a lot of these heavyweights, man. And you got Tyson Fury to think for that. Yeah, real shit. Cheat, yo, you cheated. Whatever you say. Let he 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 cracked that nut. Like I told people, you know what I mean? The the, the dudes that got good chins and yeah, you take a hell of a lot of damage, bro. You gonna crack that motherfucking nut, bro. And that's what happened. But anyway, 
Shout out to Joseph Parker for getting the W. What's next for him? I don't know. Um, I haven't really looked at the rankings and all that stuff, so I'll probably look into that tomorrow and probably make it what's next to next for Parker. Maybe later in the week I'll do that. But anyway, let me know what y'all thought about this fight, man. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one, man. And I'm off this.